Okay, boys and girls, we're going to be working with our fact files today, and we are going to start a new unit, a science unit on magnets. So you need to get your fact files, and you need a glue stick, and you're gonna open up to the next blank page, which should be right after your um, globe diagram. And actually, I've done this already to get ready. So go ahead and glue your title page, your magnets and magnetism on. And then on the next page, you're gonna wanna glue on lesson one, what is a magnet, okay? So today, we're gonna just be talking about real basic information about magnets. So let me pull up my, okay. So what is a magnet? So we're gonna start with our first note. Well, a magnet is an object containing iron that attracts certain materials. So on our line here, we are going to write in the word magnet. Magnet, it's got two vowels, two syllables. Magnet, so a magnet is an object containing iron that attracts certain materials. So a magnet um, ha is made of certain things, including iron, and it attracts only certain kind of materials, not all materials. Where do we find magnets might be a question on your mind. And we can actually find magnets in nature. So a naturally occurring magnetic rock in nature is called a lodestone, a lodestone. So in the second blank here, you're gonna write in the word lodestone, load stone. And I actually have a lodestone to show you. This, boys and girls, is a lodestone. It looks just like a rock, pretty heavy. And it is magnetic. So I can stick a magnet on the side here and it sticks. It's not really strong, but anyhow, this, this is a magnet that occurs in nature called a lodestone. Okay. <clears throat> so we know that a magnet attracts certain materials and we know that a lodestone is a naturally occurring magnet. What is that invisible force that attracts objects to a magnet? That is called magnetism. It's this invisible force, not from Star Wars, but it's an invisible force that acts on objects. It, it brings it brings the objects to itself. So here we're gonna write in the word magnet magnetism, and it is an invisible force that acts on the objects. So we have a magnet, okay, and we have a lodestone, that's the naturally occurring magnet, okay, and then around the magnet, whether or not it's the lodestone or whether or not it's this magnet, there is an invisible force that attracts something to the magnet. So it's invisible, you can't see it, but it's there's a force here that holds the magnet onto the lodestone. So do all magnets look alike? Actually, they don't. You can even tell just from what I showed you. We've got a little bit bigger one, smaller one. Uh, this one's a variety of colors. This one isn't. This one occurs in nature. This one's man-made. Um, so uh, this one's larger, smaller. So 
um, if you look at your notes, we're going to talk just a bit about magnets and what they look like. They come in different shapes and sizes. Different shapes and sizes. So in our on our notes, we're going to write magnets come in different shapes and sizes. And they can be very small. They can be very large. They can be quite large, even large enough to pick up cars and other metals, um, like in a junkyard when they have to move things around. They use these very, very powerful magnets. And boys and girls, we use magnets every day. You may not notice it. Um, when I was a kid, I thought magnets were just those things that are in the refrigerator you used to play with and you explore. But really, um, magnets, we use them every day. We use them every day in things um, like credit cards. That stripe that's on the back of your parents' credit card, that's a magnet, a magnetic stripe. Airline tickets, um, they used to use them more than they do now, but they still can print off um, airline tickets that have a magnetic stripe in them that holds information. And medical machines, like um, an MRI machine, uses a big magnet that goes around and around and creates images of um, the inside of your body to, so doctors can tell if everything's okay. So what did we learn today? We learned that a magnet is an object that attracts certain materials. It's made of iron. Lodestone is a naturally occurring magnetic rock, this little guy here. Magnetism is the invisible force that acts on objects. Magnets come in different shapes and sizes. And that we use magnets every day. So we're going to spend the next few days um, studying magnets and how they work and what they attract. And uh, then next week, or possibly the beginning of the following week, we will take um, just a very small test on this information. So in the meantime, what you can do is go around the house, see if you can find any magnets. Um, and, and put them near where you're studying so you can have them and look at them, explore with them. So until then, I will see you guys.